Hello, how's it going today? I am back here in Arm Prior, Ontario on the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail at kilometer marker number 64 where I left off last time. And this is going to be part 20 of my video series and the final part as I journey down this amazing trail. We're going to get to the end of the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail where it turns into the Algonquin Trail. And uh, I really appreciate everyone who's followed me along in this amazing series. It's been quite the journey when I started back in Smith's Falls all the way back in January of 2024. I just want to thank you all so much for your support. So follow me for one final time down the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail in Armprior. All right, so here we are at kilometer marker number 64, where we left off last time. This is the first uh, trail marker that I've seen like this on this trail. So maybe we'll see some more as we head on down through Arm Prior. It is a beautiful day out here in November. Actually, it's a warmer day than the, the previous time I was here on the trail and a lot less windy. Okay, so here we are at Daniel Street North. And this is where it officially gets called the Algonquin Trail through Armprior. You can still see at the top there, it says Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail. So it's got two different names as we go through Armprior. So I'm gonna keep on going and explore Armprior a little bit here. And this is also part of the Voyageur cycling route. All right, and now we're at John Street North. Looks like we got some history here to learn about. The Arm Prior Station. So as I've gone along on this trail, there's been lots of railway history as the trail used to be a rail line. And this location here where I am used to be where the Arm Prior Station was. And there's some information about it over here. Oh, so there's actually an old photo of it. It was built back in 1899 and it was demolished in 1981. So there's an old map of Armprior here as well, and it shows 
Highway 17, the Trans-Canada Highway, before it actually became the 417. Here's the old uh, Canadian Pacific Railway line, which is now the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail. So we're getting close to around here. The map's kind of upside down in here. Um, and even up here, it says Madawaska Boulevard, formerly Highway 17. So there's lots of information here. There's even some maps in here, if you wish. There's some cycling maps as well for the Ottawa Valley. If you want to do some cycling down the trail. And there's also maps of Arm Prior itself. It's really nice that they have a nice little uh, commemoration here for the Arm Prior Station, which no longer exists, but it left its mark on the town and on the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail, which used to be the rail line for Canadian Pacific. So I'm going to continue through and see what else there is to see. Just across the way, there's the Arm Prior Fire Department and OPP Police Station. And it looks like up there, there is some construction happening as well. Oh, okay, so it looks like we're coming up to kilometer marker number 65. I like how they have this throughout Arm Prior. I wonder if they're going to put those all the way to Smith's Falls. That would be really cool. Alright, here we are at uh, Van Cortland Street. 
and keep on going until we get to the end of arm prior. And then that'll be it. Well, that'll be it for this series anyway. Got a sign here. Welcome to the Calabogian District Snowmobile Club, Snow County Snowmobile Region. So in the wintertime, you can go on this trail on your snowmobile. All right, and we've come up to Division Street here. Okay, so that's gonna do it for my journey down the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail here in Arm Prior. What an amazing journey. The total kilometers walked that I have done since leaving Smith Falls is just over 65 kilometers. Hard to believe. It's been an amazing journey. I started this way back in January of 2024, and now here I am in November 2024 at the end of the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail, where it turns into the Algonquin Trail and keeps going all the way to Petawawa. Maybe I'll do that one day, but uh, that's gonna be it for this series here. It's been an amazing journey. I just wanna thank everybody who's followed along and uh, supported me throughout this entire journey down the Ottawa Valley Recreational Trail, including the people at Lanark County Tourism, Carlton Place Tourism, Smith Falls Tourism, and many, many more. I really appreciate your support, and I hope to have it in the future as well as I continue my hiking journey uh, through your amazing towns and counties. I'm Brandon, and I just wanna thank you for your support. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, please give it a like and subscribe, and comment on where you would like to see me go next. Thank you, and I will see you at the next one.